Hi everybody, it's Ristina. This is my second video today. Oh, and by the way, happy Easter everybody. Um, I must be on a roll. It's my second video today in my car, no less. <laughs> Alright, um, today I want to do a snuff review on Sam Goweth Black Coffee. Now, I absolutely love this stuff. Um, in fact, I uh, um, take a sniff of it every morning uh, to go with my regular coffee because um, my... Uh, fluid coffee actually brings the scent out more in this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and take a little pinch and let's talk about it a little. Okay. All right. Oh, by the way, I want to put a shout out for these little boxes. These are Delrin, Delrin plastic uh, pocket boxes. And I got these at countycom.com. They are absolutely leak proof, absolutely indestructible, nice tight lid, very tight. Um, so if you're looking for something, um, other than the, the nice hardwood boxes or, um, an expensive, uh, uh, antique snuff box or a silver snuff box or anything like that, um, get one of these. These are pretty cool. Um, I still love my hardwood boxes. In fact, I lost my favorite hardwood snuff box today. Well, I think I lost it yesterday. It must have fallen out of my pocket and it was full of Sam Goweth black coffee and I am so bummed. I tore up my room, tore up the house, tore up the garage. Um, it, I think I lost it somewhere out on the town yesterday. <sighs> oh well, but I still have these. Um, countycom.com. That's uh, C-O-U-N-T-Y-C-O-M-M.com. Countycom.com. They're really great. Okay, so like I said, it's got a nice tight lid. There we go. Snaps really good. Okay, so let's take a sniff of the Sam Goweth black coffee. Oh, awesome stuff. All right. Now, um, unlike other snuffs out there that are like Irish cream coffee flavored or, or anything like that, this has a nice um, scent of black coffee. Now, what it actually reminds me of is um, my dad. My dad was a landscaper, and uh, decades ago, um, he would take us to work. Uh, my sister and I to work with him, and we'd help him landscaping. And um, when we would sit in the truck during lunch, he'd open up his coffee thermos to go with his lunch. And um, the smell of the coffee in the thermos was a lot different than the freshly brewed coffee that my mom would make in the morning. And this stuff smells exactly like my dad's thermos coffee. It's, it's, it's uncanny how, how, how much it smells like it. And so every time I, I put some in my nose, it reminds me of my dad. Aw, I know. Pretty nostalgic, huh? <laughs> now the grind of it is a medium. Um, when it first came to me in its tap box, it was sort of a medium moisture. Um, however, if you leave it in a box for too long, it does uh, tend to dry out. Um, so what I do with the uh, Sam Goweth black uh, coffee is I mix just a tad bit of a moist menthol snuff in there. Just a tad, just enough to give it some moisture. Um, and also I try to uh, only put like a day or two's worth of snuff in a box. Um, but it does dry out if I um, don't use it for a week or something like that. It does uh, dry out a little bit. So medium moisture, uh, medium grind, very easy to, to sniff. Um, and uh, like I said, it's got a very nice uh, scent of black coffee in it. Um, the, the background note does kind of remind me of Viking Dark. So when I first put it in my nose, it has that note of Viking Dark. And then after um, about 10, 20 seconds and the thermos black coffee scent comes out. It's, it's really nice. Um, so every morning I take a snuff of this before um, I, uh, I make breakfast and have my regular coffee. And uh, the steam and the scent of the regular coffee really brings out the scent in the Sam Goweth black coffee. It's it's incredible. It also goes really well with a nice cup of Earl Grey. Um, I like it with Earl Grey also. Um, the combination of the tea and the bergamot and the uh, SG black coffee go really well together. 
So anyway, that's my short and sweet review on Sam Gallup Black Coffee. Um, if you like to mix snuff, I suggest mixing it with a little bit of Dalakia Swiss chocolate or Gotard chocolate, uh, Paul Gotard chocolate. The Paul Gotard chocolate, um, the coarseness of it and the dark bitter chocolate um, of it goes really well uh, with the with the black coffee, as does the Lockia Swiss chocolate. Um, the uh, the slight sweetness, um, dark chocolate type of feel of Delacchia Swiss chocolate goes really good with this also. Um, also a little bit of glitcher freeze or even just a tad bit of um, hedges or any other uh, strong menthol snuff um, and it gives a little bit more of a burn um, when you take it in but doesn't really take away from the coffee scent. Um, so anyhow experiment. Um, I'm actually thinking of adding a little bit of Ozona orange to this to get a coffee orange type of thing. I don't know. If I do that, I'll see what happens. So anyway, great snuff. Sam Gallup Black Coffee. I suggest you check it out if you haven't already. It's very easy for beginners to take. So um, if you're a beginner and you like coffee, go ahead and get this stuff. Um, and again, I want to put a shout out out there to countycom.com, county, C-O-M-M. So countycom.com with these awesome Delrin boxes. These are great. Absolutely leak proof tight, tight, tight lid. You can't go wrong with these. These are great. And I, and I think they're only like eight or 10 bucks. So anyway, we'll talk to y'all next time. Thanks for watching everybody.